Happy October 19th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 quest calendar, The Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy and party made their way through a hedge maze in pursuit of Thornheart, the last ancient guardian. We wound up here in Area 3, where we were told we can hear the rumble of hooves, and that is where we left things. So, let's see what adventure is on the calendar for us today. Thornheart bursts forth from the shrubs, commencing a frenzied assault. She violently thrashes her giant antlers about while emitting piercing screeches. We are going to do eight things in order. <laughs> Dodge, block, counterattack, distract, predict, evade, flee, and finally plead. Um, okay, well, here we go. Dodge. Roll d20 plus dexterity. 5 plus 3 is 8. That's the worst result. You attempt to dodge the... I'm not even going to bother because we need um, we need 8 more points to get the better result. That's not going to happen. Okay, worst result. You attempt to dodge the attack, but Thornheart's erratic movements catch you off guard. Reduce your health by 1. I'm going to write it up here on the side because I have a feeling we're going to that's not the only damage we're going to take. Two block. Roll d20 plus strength. Ten plus three is thirteen. Ivy has royal might. We can re-roll a strength roll. So she's going to do that. We get a three and we're going to do it again because we can do it twice. We get a fourteen. That one blocks. So there goes our royal mites. This is the best result. You manage to block the attack with a display of impressive strength. Three, counterattack. D20 plus attack. We get an eight. Plus eight is 16. We would need two more points. Can we get it? Ivy has, well, we've got Enid. Um, and Ivy has Radiant Blast. So we can get this. It's just a question of how we want to. Um, let's see what Enid can do. Enid, if we draw, well, it's only going to give us one, but it might help. We'll give Enid a shot here. A club, uh, or is that a spade? Spade greater than or equal to seven? Nope. <laughs> so we'll use Radiant Blast, which gives us a D4, I think. Use one Surge, add D4. So... There goes a Surge and a D4. We want a 2 or better, and we get it. So that's the best result. On our counterattack, you execute an effective counter move, disrupting its balance and halting its attack. 4, Distract. This is an Intellect roll. So, 20. Wow. All right, and we get a Boon Die. Um, intellect best result, your distraction succeeds, throwing Thornhot, a Thornheart off course and causing its attack to veer off target. Five, predict. Roll re d20 plus wisdom. 19 plus 2 is 21. That's the best result. You barely manage to predict Thornheart's attack, positioning yourself advantageously to avoid its strike. Step six, evade. This is a 7 plus dexterity is 3. That gives us a 10, and that's a long way from the best result. So this is the worst result. Your attempt to evade Thornheart's attack is too slow, and its sharp thorned antlers connect. Reduce your health by 1. We're down to 23. All right. Step 7, flee. <laughs> Roll d20 plus constitution. That's a 20. That's the best result. The Wendigo continues a close pursuit despite your attempt to escape. All right. Um, step eight, plead. D20 plus charisma. <laughs> uh, that, is a, that is a big fail. You speak to the Guardian, but it continues to attack. Reduce your health by one. We're down to 22. And there's some text at the bottom of the page here. In Thornheart, Thorn, why is that so hard to say? In Thornheart's final attempt to strike you, it lunges ferociously. 
but fate intervenes as it crashes headlong <laughs> into a large tree. We have beaten a lot of bosses this way. Uh, it suffers a grievous wound. Dizzy and injured, Thornheart stops attacking and ends the fierce battle. Okay, well, there you go. This is Saturday and Sunday, so we can do the uh, Sunday lottery. So let's do that. Um, what do we have here? We're out in the middle. We're in some kind of enchanted forest that we got through through an enchanted tree. There's no Sunday lottery office here. So we're going to use our cards of nonsensicalness and uh, see what we get here. We need a six-sided die. Let's use this guy. Uh, step one here. Who shows up? A goblin. Uh, lots of goblins working for this. Oh, dear. Sorry about that. Lots of goblins working for the Sunday Lottery office. This one is wearing a sandwich board that reads Sunday Lottery. And how does he arrive? Swoops in on magical hover boots. And he has a box with a slot in it. We can put two amber inside. And when we open it up, we have lost our amber. <laughs> There's no amber inside. And the goblin chuckles and wanders off. And uh, if I can find my marker, I will update our amber. We are at 107. Okay, well, that, my friends, is October 18th and 19th. So we shall say goodbye for now and visit Ivy and Friends again on Monday. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.